Sensory story time. My name is Miss Angie. And I'm Mrs. O. Everyone is welcome to the story time. We wanted to make this available to our friends who view the world in a unique and wonderful way. That's why we've added more visual and um, music to our story time. We also have activity blocks so that everyone can follow along. We've already done the welcome song and introductions. And we're about to learn the theme and listen to some clips with Mrs. O. Our theme today is gardens and plants growing. Plants growing! I love plants oh. growing! Yeah? Hello, what's your name? My name is Harry the Hedgehog. Well, hello, Harry. Nice, hello. Nice to have you here with us. I was just telling the kids at home that we are going to be talking about growing, things growing, and. There's kids at home! Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Say hi. Hi, my name is Harry. So, uh, you might be noticing right now in the springtime how things are starting to get green everywhere. And they're blossoming. Yes, it's really are nice. Blossoming, yes. We're yes. coming up out of the ground and that's right. springing up. That's right. The trees were all bare just a just a few weeks ago, and now all of a sudden, when I go outside, there's green leaves everywhere. Yes, and, it, it, and the sun is getting warmer. Yes. The days are getting longer. That's right. Yep. And um, it's that time of year that we start thinking about planting our gardens. I love gardens. I know. Oh. You can plant vegetables or you can plant flowers to, just for the beauty of it or vegetables to eat. Yes. There's all kinds of great things. And at the library, we have lots of nonfiction books all about uh, flowers and oh. trees and wow. seeds. And I love this book. It has all kinds of stuff in it. Harry, you're going to like this. Like, look at this. Oh. This is showing how a seed um, it ha the process that it goes through. First oh, it's it just the seed that you put in the ground. Yeah. Ah. And then it starts putting out roots pop out of it. And then a, um, a sprout. Looks like a tail. Like a long yeah, tail. Yeah, it does. And then more roots. And wow. it's getting bigger. And then leaves start coming. Wow. Yeah. And this book is just full of all the different kinds of plants there are. Oh, that's a cactus. Yes. Ah. Isn't that neat? And um, oh, flowers of different kinds. It's just a great book to vegetables you can plant. Mm, yummy! Yeah, oh, fun. I like the carrots and the turnips. Turnips. Oh, oh, yummy. Yum. Yum. So you can come to the library and check out some cool books to learn about plants and gardening. Right now we're going to watch some clips of some seeds <gasps> growing. Wow! And it, it's not made up. It's really a real actual seeds growing um, into plants. It's just that they um, took the video uh, over pictures and video over a long amount of time and then they squeezed it together to show what it would look like if it happened really fast and it's wow. really neat to watch. Also there's some sounds of what ground, um, what the ground sounds like when it's ready to be planted. So enjoy these clips.
the finger play or an action rhyme that we can do together. What you're going to do, it's called Little Seed in the Ground, and we're going to scrunch real, we're going to scrunch down. If you can scrunch down to the floor, that'd be great. And then we, when, when I say we sprout, and when I say yes, I will, we're going to chop up. You ready? Little seed in the ground. Everybody scrunch down. Very good. Sitting so still, little seed, will you sprout? Yes, I will. <laughs> Let's do that again. Ready? Everybody scrunch up like they're little seeds in the ground. Good job. All right. Little seed in the ground, sitting so still, little seed, will you sprout? Yes, I will. <laughs> Good job, little seeds. This is the book Underground by Denise Fleming that Miss Angie has set to music. Like a dog is bearing his 
Bone yeah. there. Yeah, bone. Yeah. All kinds of things that are underground. Rocks and stones. Yeah. You know, sometimes Harry, when I try to dig a hole in my yard to put something in, like uh -huh. a, a bush or something, yeah. I hit rocks. And yeah. it's really hard to, to dig a hole. And there's usually bugs underneath them, right? Yes. Oh, like the bugs like underground. Yes. <gasps> oh, look at this. Wow. Cute little nest of bunnies. Oh, look. That, that's like a, looks like a bee, a wasp. I'm not sure what that is for bugs there. Yeah. All kinds of bugs look on the, work on the ground, yeah. live on the ground. Yeah. Oh, he's filling up the hole with water to wow. plant, looks like a tree. Oh. oh, yeah, it says Bing Cherry Tree. Oh, beautiful. I love cherry trees. Mm -hmm. Cherry trees are beautiful. Yes. Oh, and there it is on the top. The oh, yeah. And the little squirrel burying his acorn. Yeah. Very cool. All the things that happen underground that we can't really see, right? Okay. It's a whole new world. Yes. A whole nother world underground. That's right. All right, and if you check this book out, you can learn more about all of those things here. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. We're going to do a little rhyme called In My Garden, and you're going to help us guess what's in my garden. There's something in my garden. Now what can it be? There's something in my garden that I can't really see. I hear its funny sound. Oh, I lost my carrot. Where's my carrot? What could that be? What animal would be asking for a carrot? That's right. A rabbit is what I found. Where did my carrot go? Oh, I don't care at all. Oh. All right. There's something in my garden. Now what can it be? There's something in my garden that I can't really see. I hear its funny sound. Oh, what's that sound like? A bird. Oh. Very good. A bird is what I found. I'm a bird. There's something in my garden. Now what can it be? There's something in my garden that I can't really see. I hear its funny sound. Squeak. Squeak. Squeaky. What makes a squeaky sound in the garden? That's right! A it's mouse! <laughs> a mouse is what I found. Got any cheese? There's something in my garden. Now what can it be? There's something in my garden that I can't really see. I hear its funny sound. Ribbit. Ribbit. Hmm. What makes a ribbit sound in the garden? That's right! Ribbit. A frog is what I found. I'm a frog. Good job. Ribbit. There's something in my garden. Now what can it be? There's something in my garden that I can't really see. I hear its funny sound. Oh, what makes that sound? A snake is what I found. Good guessing. I'm a There's something in my garden. Now what can it be? There's something in my garden that I can't really see. I hear its funny sound. Meow. Meow. What's that sound? Hmm. That's right. I'm a cat. A kitty cat is what <laughs> I found in my garden. Kitty Great cat. job on all that guessing, boys and girls. We're going to do a scarf song, and this is called Wave Your Scarf, and you can wave it up and down, or left to right, fast and slow, high and low, and it's to the tune of London Bridges. Oh no. Wave your scarf up and down, up and down, up and down, wave your scarf up and down, wave your scarf. Wave your scarf left to right, left to right, left to right. Good job. Wave your scarf left to right, wave your scarf. Ra wave your scarf fast and slow, fast and slow, 
fast and slow. Wave your scarf fast and slow. Wave your scarf. Can you wave your scarf around and around? Around and around. Around and around. Wave your scarf around and around. Wave your scarf. And then you wave goodbye. Ooh, good job, friends. This is In My Garden by Rafi, and you can do the motions with me. Digging, digging, this is how we dig the ground in our garden. Bye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends.